Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, my name is Bobby. Guys, in today's video, I'm going to respond to Freely the Banana Girl. She just came out with a video called Why I'm No Longer Vegan. Response. And me, as an ex-vegan, even though she doesn't like that term, going to respond to her video. Let's do this. People who actually give a fuck about animals do not give up on them. They do not throw them in a stir fry when they feel hungry or gassy or get a pimply face. They take responsibility and they do not stop until they find a cruelty free answer to their issues. Another thing I've noticed is this theme with fish throughout these videos. Suddenly fish aren't fucking animals. You were not vegan. You were not vegan. Yeah, all right. <laughs> Uh, I hear this every single day. Me, as an ex-vegan, I can't even call myself ex-vegan, right? Anyways, before we get into it, she starts out very, very aggressive. This is something that you see with many vegans. Unfortunately, you never hear a laid-back, relaxed vegan that just talks about certain issues that they have on their mind. It is always aggressive. You always get blamed and shamed. Yeah, I heard all of this before. Let us continue. Okay, so let me start by saying I know every one of these well-known YouTubers making these Why I'm No Longer Vegan videos. Some of them I know very well, have hung out a lot, and I like them as people. Not that they would ever publicly support me or anything like that, but still. And I like them as people. Not that they would publicly support me, but yeah, sure. A little passive-aggressive there. <laughs> This is a video for anyone out there who's ever made one of these why I'm no longer vegan videos. So I've been in this movement for over 12 years. I've seen people come and go. I've heard every excuse there is. Every excuse there is. Yeah, she uses her hands a lot, right? You hear that a lot. Excuses, excuses. You do not know what is going on in people. Why do you think it is an excuse? Why do you assume that people just want to eat meat again after not eating meat for years and years on end? You just make the assumption that those people were never vegan and they just were waiting for some meat to cross their way, right? For the first excuse so they can finally eat flesh again. That is bullshit and you know it. And I'm sick of it. I'm sick to fucking death of hearing these bullshit excuses to end animals' lives again. It's a common theme in the vegan community. Overly aggressive, overly emotional. We heard all of this before. Let's continue. From brain frog and pimples and gas to my baby took all my protein. Get the fuck out of here. There is no scientifically sound evidence to support you going back to eating animals and their byproducts. So don't even try and fucking use that as a reason. My baby took all the protein. Digestive issues. There is no scientific sound evidence for our claims, right? That is typical vegan indoctrination. And I've been there myself. When you are in the vegan community, you, by default, just research the vegan doctors. You listen to those vegan doctors like Gregor, Esselstyn, and you just make assumptions from there. The premise is that a whole food, plant-based diet is everything you need for general health. But if you would look further and you research other doctors, because, hey, you really think that only the vegan doctors have the truth, right? You can look into other researchers, into other studies, not only cherry pick your own studies and you will find out that there are many issues with a vegan diet but of course she doesn't want to hear that stop looking to blame everything and everyone around you for your own fucking failure stop take responsibility stop take responsibility <laughs> oh i love this this is amazing man yeah anyways it is your fault it is your responsibility you are to be blamed of course shame 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 on you it is not the diet's fault meanwhile you never hear people ranting about the carnivore diet how it fucked up their gut health or anything on those lines not that i'm a carnivore myself but yet again I haven't encountered so many digestive issues, so many health problems as I did with the vegan diet. This is just the common narrative here. 
you develop gut issues, you develop weakness, injuries and whatnot. Many, many people have unfortunately seen those negative side effects. But Freely is here to tell us it has nothing to do with the diet. It doesn't matter that every other human being before our generation has been eating meat. Nope, it has nothing to do with the diet. Now it is our responsibility. <laughs> oh, I love this. Let's go on. You know, all I hear is this me, 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 me. What about the someone who now has to suffer as a result of your choices? Me, 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 me. All the ego, right? Somebody has to suffer because of our choices. Okay, how about the choice of the cat that chooses to eat a rat? Somebody has to suffer. This is something that you always see with vegans. And when I was vegan, I had the same thought pattern. You are striving for a world that is cruelty free. You're looking for this paradise, for this Garden Eden, where nobody has to suffer. Of course, if you logically would reflect further, you would understand that there always will be suffering. The Buddha realized that as well. Life is suffering. Once you have that realization in mind, you can accept death. But vegans do not want to accept death. This is something that you see here. They want to live in a fairy tale. They want to live in a world where nobody suffers. But imagine a world where everybody is vegan. In the wild, animals will still eat animals. This is part of life. So if you really want to eradicate suffering, what you really have to do is to kill all the carnivores, right? In the end, you will have to kill all the animals because animals always feed on each other. And even your crops are feeding on dead animals. It's a circle of life and death. But vegans do not want to accept that. You know, I could spend all day debunking every one of these pathetic excuses, but all I really need to say is the animals don't need your excuses. They are not your fucking dinner. They are not a lifeless product to increase your protein levels. They are a living being like you and me. So she continues, she can debunk all of those claims. No, you can't because you're not debunking anything here. You're just making aggressive assumptions. You're overly emotional. You're not debunking anything scientifically. You're not talking about why plants give us digestive issues, for instance. So what she does, she continues blaming everybody there. The animals are not our dinner. They're not here to raise our protein levels. Again, all you have to do is to look into nature or check out your pets, your carnivorous little animals. This is what we are doing. Yes, a certain animal will end up being the dinner of another animal. And you, dear Freely, are an animal as well. And you, for sure, are not a herbivore. I see that you do not want to accept that. And this is why you decayed to this extent. Let's be honest here. This is not a blame game. I don't want to hate on you. But you can clearly see that you are not healthful. You're not vibrant. You don't look emotionally stable. Of course not. Worthy of life. They are here existing on this earth for their own purpose. And let's get this straight. If you make a video why I am no longer vegan, you were never actually vegan to begin with. So remove the word vegan from the title and replace it with plant-based. Replace it with plant-based. You've never been vegan. This is the same narrative that we heard so many times before. You were never vegan, as I said in the beginning. What do you believe happened in years and years of being vegan that somebody makes the decision to not be vegan anymore? Do you really believe that people that have been in a relationship, they've been married. They've never been married because now they have a divorce. They never loved each other. Do you really believe that this is what is happening here? When I was vegan, I loved veganism and I identified as a vegan. But when I realized that my health is suffering, I had to come to terms with the reality of things. The reality of things is that a plant-based diet is not suitable for most, if at all. Many people wake up and they realize that they've been lied to. They realize that somebody tricked them emotionally to get into a dietary cult. Of course, we all love animals. This is why we have pets. So we don't want to evoke suffering if we do not have to. But that is what I have to emphasize here if we do not have to. 
but you see it in so many people after years and years of veganism they suffer and degrade to such an extent it is sad those people wake up they snap out of it and they realize that they've been in love with the wrong ideology then when they snap out of it and they reintroduce animals and animal byproducts they feel this resonating health they understand that they are doing the right thing yes the right thing for one is not the right thing for the other because what you're doing now is exploiting misrepresenting confusing the whole movement to the public just for your own selfish benefits you were not vegan because actual vegans would never contemplate going back to paying for the abuse torture and slaughter of their friends never 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 <laughs> yeah amazing great editing there again it is not about paying for the slaughter and the torture you would never go back once you were vegan it is not about it it is about the realization that we are not herbivores this is it that's all you accept your own nature i know freely that you cannot do that you are in denial you think we are all friends i do not think that you are the friend of a wild wolf i do not believe that you are the friend of a wild bear either i do not even think that you are the friend of any fish out there to be totally honest i have to say that i don't think that you are the friend of any animal out there why don't you get some hens why don't you take care of certain animals look after them what are you really doing here you're screaming and shouting on youtube that's all you do you do not really look after animals you're not a real activist to that extent what are you truly doing if you love animals so much open up a sanctuary how about that why don't you look after some cows why don't you actually look after some chickens and give them food give them shelter nourish them and they in return will nourish you with their eggs that is a symbiotic relationship you totally stepped out of that you're talking about animals as your friends you do not have any animals that are your friends but of course those making these videos won't remove the word vegan from the video title because they're actually monetizing these videos essentially making blood money okay so the bad ex-vegans they are making blood money sure what are you making here you're not monetizing your videos you are not making money out of your response what are you talking about this movement of ex-vegans brings attention to your channel as well what are you talking about this whole youtube game is of course about making money especially you with your what is it now 784,000 subscribers selling ebooks and whatnot you're not making any money out of this what are you talking about it's insane she believes because she isn't eating any animals she's doing so much good meanwhile you might not harm cows and chickens cool but you're harming fellow human beings do you know how many people reached out to me they suffered detrimental health issues due to your bullshit banana diet that is what is going on here you think you're doing something good but only because you're delusional if you would do further research you would fully understand that the vegan diet is not healthful for most people and on top of that there are so many implications here where you destroy wildlife you do not love animals stop telling that to yourself you're not saving anybody you know full well making these sort of videos leads to more pain suffering torture for innocent animals around the world because your followers just follow your lead and these videos go viral you know and they, they get a lot of attention they get a lot of shares and likes and all that sort of shit because we have these people who are uneducated plant-based eaters supporting this sort of cruelty just ignorantly supporting this sort of cruelty and on the other side we are surrounded by a society who has this sick flesh fetish a society who has this sick flesh fetish yeah exactly this is what it is let me give you a personal anecdote i never really liked animal products to begin with when i was a kid i never enjoyed eating meat and such but once 
you deprived yourself for so long. And then you give yourself the benefit of the doubt and you try it out. You try an egg, you try some fish. You will see that there are nutrients in those foods that you just cannot find in plants. And if you really would look into the real science, you would understand that that is the truth. There are so many preformed vitamins that you cannot find in plants. You cannot accept that because you've been indoctrinated. You only listen to one side of the argument. On top of that, you're an overly emotional person that cannot read through any objective science. You will only read what supports your bias. It is not about a flesh fetish. <laughs> this is ridiculous. It is about nourishing food. Nourishing foods that our ancestors have been eating all along. Foods that make us healthy. Foods that are made for the human physiology. We are still living in this society dominated by these people who don't give a fuck about animals and they celebrate when vegans go back to eating animals. Vegans go back to eating animals. That is celebrated in our sick society. Again, you can go back as far as you want to. People have been eating animals. Animals eat other animals animals there is nothing wrong with that you're trying to sell a religion here you've been indoctrinated you think that it is wrong to eat animals why is that the case that is something that you have to ask yourself i don't want to turn this video into a philosophical debate point of the story is nobody celebrates that people are eating animals we love animals but there are certain things in this life that you have to accept and that you have to do that is all freely. Just accept it. People who actually give a fuck about animals do not give up on them. They do not throw them in a stir fry when they feel hungry or gassy or get a pimply face. They take responsibility and they do not stop until they find a cruelty free answer to the issues. A cruelty free answer. What would that be? The grains that you're eating? Yeah, where you have so many animals round up in the combine harvester. That's a cruelty-free answer to you. What are you talking about? Eating only fruits? That might be cruelty-free. Mm. And then you're going to suffer all kinds of deficiencies because you're not built to live only on fruits. So therefore, what is the cruelty-free answer here? You're talking about digestive issues. Again, do you think that if you would be a herbivore, you would suffer digestive issues on a vegan diet? Do you think a cow would suffer digestive issues by eating grass? No, she wouldn't, because it is her species-specific diet. You, on the other hand, dear Freely, are not a cow. And this is why we as humans get digestive issues. This is why we get pimples, because we are not eating the species-specific diet. It is just that simple. We are not created to eat tons and tons of plants. You cannot accept that even if your body is screaming out and showing you that you are sick. You still will be looking for another solution just because you're in denial. They do whatever it fucking takes to heal. And actual vegans know that eating corpse does not heal. Actual vegans know that corpse eating does not heal, right? How do they know? Those actual vegans. When we believe you, Everybody that stops being vegan has never been vegan, right? So you want to tell me that actual vegans, they know. How would they? They never tried meat, right? Actual vegans have never tried meat. So therefore, they wouldn't know. All the others that decide to ditch veganism, they find themselves with greater health after eating those corpses, right? Why is that so? Of course, again, you cannot accept that fact. You cannot accept that those corpses are very, very nourishing. They have preformed vitamins, proteins that help our bodies. They're very easily to digest. But you cannot accept that because you've been so indoctrinated. I don't really know if this video is sad or funny. It does the opposite. You know, it will not heal your gut after fucking up and taking antibiotics. It will not give you amazing skin, energy levels, or digestion. No, it absolutely will. It absolutely will, freely. That is what is happening. And this is what you are afraid of. 
you're afraid of people eating animals, even though they would feel thousand times better. We have those stories all over the place. People stop veganism, they start incorporating animal foods again, and they feel thousand times better. Digestion is great again, their skin clears up, everything is fantastic, because they are eating what they are supposed to be eating. But you cannot accept that. Again, you are in denial. It will not make you more spiritual. We know this. It won't make you more spiritual. We know this. <laughs> Who knows this? What is spiritual? What do you know about the circle of life and death? You are living in a fairy tale. You do not know what the word spirituality really means. You do not know what you're talking about. You are in your bubble where life does not feed on life. How delusional is that? Life is suffering. Life feeds on life. This is the circle of life that you cannot understand. You want to build up a fairy tale, a garden of Eden where all the animals hold hands. This is not Disney. This is life. And there is a common theme throughout these videos, this obsession with hens periods, aka eggs. The obsession with hands periods. <laughs> it's not a hands period. Chickens do not have periods. Ovulation doesn't equal a period. But I'm sure you know that, right? With your new identity as a feminist, <laughs> I'm sure you know that it's not a period. More propaganda. I mean, the irony is that eggs are so fucking unhealthy that you literally cannot even state on packaging in the USA, for instance, that they are healthy. You cannot say that. It's illegal. You can't say they're healthful. You can't even say they contribute healthful components. You know why? Because it has been, sh it has been shown time and time again that they are little acid balls of cruelty. Acid balls of cruelty. <laughs> hey, this is great. I don't think I ever had so much fun watching a YouTube video. This is insane. Acid balls of cruelty. As I just said, if you would truly love animals, dear freely, you would get some chickens. You would look after them. You would feed them. And you would see what an egg truly is. You never confronted living with animals. You never confronted what it truly means to live in a symbiosis with those animals. You just brainwashed yourself and now you're thinking that eggs are little acid balls of cruelty. <laughs> uh. You know, you can't even say that they are a good source of protein because they're not. <laughs> they're not. They're not a good source of protein. Meanwhile, eggs have a biological value of 100%. Meanwhile, in sports nutrition for athletes, eggs are the go-to protein source. People are enjoying the protein benefits of eggs. Believe it or not. Wow. Mind-blowing, right? Eggs are perfectly nutritious and they deliver a great protein for human consumption. That is basic science. But I digress. You know, this is basically, this is like an irrelevant side point to the fact that the egg industry is a fucking torture train for billions and billions of baby chicks and chickens around the world every year. Billions of billions, yes, if you support the animal agriculture. And I would fully agree, you do not have to. Again, get some chickens, some backyard hens. You could do that, why not? You have all the money in the world for that. Or just go and support your local farmers. You do not have to support the animal agriculture. This is not what this is about. We are not bad people freely, believe it or not. We are not people with cruel intentions. I do not want to see little chickens getting ground up. Why would I? Just go to your local farmer, you get healthy chicken eggs from healthy chickens. It's really that simple. Do some research, educate yourself and you'll never eat them again. Yeah, I would like to say the same to you. Do some research and you would eat them again. This is just what it is. You only looked into the vegan research, which is highly biased. You do not have anything other than epidemiological studies. You do not have real science if you look only into the vegan plant-based science. There is so much science out of there that will prove the beneficial effects of animal products. So another thing I've noticed is this theme with fish throughout these videos. 
suddenly fish aren't fucking animals. Fish aren't meat and it's okay to eat them. Nobody says that fish is not meat. Nobody says that fish are not animals. But yes, it is okay to eat them. Absolutely. Again, as the cat, as the bear. It is absolutely okay to eat them. And on top of that, especially on a plant-based diet, your omega-3 to 6 ratio is so far off that just a couple of sardines per week can improve your health tremendously, can lower your inflammation tremendously. Again, you do not want to hear that because you live in fairy tale land. Why? Because they swim in the water? Like, what is the fu- what? <laughs> what? <laughs> you know, they have hearts, they have faces, they have eyes, they have a nervous system, they feel fucking pain. They are animals. Yes, they are animals. Animals eat animals. Those animals that you love so much eat other animals. It is not a sin freely. It is called life. You know, you are behaving unethically if you eat the flesh of sea life. Don't lie to yourself. You are behaving unethically if you're eating the flesh of sea life. How so? How is that unethically? Do you really believe that all the life forms out there, all the animals, are behaving unethically. Ethically, that is a man-made construct that you have put into your brain and you are projecting it towards diet. This is what you are doing. Yes, we as humans, we have moral agency, we have ethics. That is a concept that we came up with and now you are projecting that concept onto diet. Out of a sudden, eating other animals is unethical. Although this is what is happening right now. Even if every human being chooses to be vegan, animals will still eat animals. I don't understand what you're not getting here. Fish are a someone and they belong in our hearts, not in our stomachs. Don't lie to yourself. In our hearts. <laughs> Why do fish belong in our hearts and not into our stomachs? Why is that so? This is a question that you have to ask yourself. If by any chance, fish are nutritionally adequate for the human species. Don't you think there is a good reason why they belong in our guts? Think about it. If they give us lower inflammation, they give us better heart health, they give us more health in general, wouldn't you say that this is something that belongs in our guts? Of course not, because ethically, morally, you've brainwashed yourself into a belief system where it's not okay to eat other animals. But I'm repeating myself. And then I see some of these people go and sneakily delete these peace-promoting ethical vegan videos they made in the past. And I'm like, what the actual fuck? So you don't want people to actually know that you gave a fuck about animals at one stage? No, I don't think that those people do not want other people to know that they didn't give a fuck about animals at some stage. What those people want is other people to not fall into the same trap. This is why they delete those videos. They've realized that they've been lied to. They realize that the vegan diet is not suitable for them and for so many others. Those people realize that other people would suffer as well. And this is why they do not want to promote this cult anymore. It's just that simple freely. You do not understand that even though you are deteriorating. Everybody with one eye can tell you that you do not look healthy. Everybody can see that clearly. You are deteriorating. You are living in a lie. You tell yourself that you are healthful. You tell yourself that you are doing the right thing. Meanwhile, people wake up and realize that they have been suffering all along. They regain health. And then they decide to delete those videos. So other people do not fall into the same trap. You don't want to help others make the connection, make this world a better place. You don't want others to know you felt fucking fabulous living a certain way? Yes, you felt fabulous in the beginning. The plant-based diet, the vegan diet, is a fasting mimicking diet. In the beginning, everybody feels great. You get into a fasting state. That fasting state will give you euphoria. You will start eating yourself. It is a catabolic process. It is a fasting mimicking diet. In the beginning, you will feel absolutely amazing. And this is when vegans start to promote veganism because they feel so good. But then over time, you cannot stay in that fasting state. 
Life is about fasting and feasting. This is how it goes. Once you realize that, you will step out of it quickly. If you don't, you will deteriorate because your body is in a fasting, mimicking state. This is what is happening. And no, those people didn't lie back then. Those people felt great back then. You cannot keep up a fast for years. After years, you will feel shit. That's just what is going on. And then you will reintroduce anabolic foods again, aka animal products, and you will feel fantastic again. And then, yes, you will tell the truth again. Freely, I dare you. I know that you won't do it. Eat an ethically free, a cruelty-free egg. Try it out. Give it a go. You will feel amazing. You know, this, did you lie then? Are you lying now? I find this behavior really untrustworthy. I cannot trust these people. And it just makes this whole charade about their ego and not about the animals. You cannot trust those people and it makes it all about the ego. Who has the ego here, freely? Ask yourself that. You cannot trust those people. Wow, how comically free, how spiritual. Distrust. Isn't that a sin? You act so spiritual here. Meanwhile, you're totally judgmental. Why don't you open up your heart to those people? Question what those people faced. Maybe those people were really suffering. Wow, big surprise, right? Maybe those people are telling the truth. Hmm, maybe they're not some deceptive con artist. But of course you cannot see that. You're in a state of paranoia, in a state of anxiety because of malnutrition. Everybody's lying now. Everybody's decepting. Bad, bad humans. We hate humans, right? Only the innocent animals, they are so good. And everybody else is a liar. They want to eat the bad animals. It's all bullshit. Those people have been suffering and they regained their health. They did what is right for them. That is what you have to do in this life. It is the survival of the fittest. You have to look after yourself. If you don't, you decay. It is just that simple. It is natural biofeedback. It is a pattern here. If you do the right thing, you will feel good. If you do not feel good, you're not doing the right thing. This is why you look the way you do. This is why you act the way you do. The simple fact is, if you eat animals, you are pro-animal cruelty. That is it. How can you be anything else? Animals are our friends and we do not eat our friends. Full stop, end of discussion. As I said already, you are not the friends of animals. You do not have any animal friends. People that eat animals are not supporting animal cruelty. You associate killing with cruelty. That is it. Sure, I agree. Suffering in the animal agriculture is cruel. Of course, you cannot make the same claim for farm animals. You cannot make the same claim for hunting. This is a natural cycle. For you to eat your grains, you need hunters that will kill the deer off that is eating your grains. Of course, you're free of ego. It's not about you. It is all about the environment here. You do not want to hear stuff like that. It's only about my intent. As long as I'm thinking positive thoughts, as long as I'm thinking I'm doing the right thing, I'm doing the right thing, of course, sure. Meanwhile, if you would really research, you would see that your vegan diet is killing more animals than eating grass-fed beef. You cannot accept that. Why don't you eat roadkill? That would be karmically free. Why don't you do that? It is not about animals. It is not about the environment. It is only about your cult. You brainwashed yourself into this belief system where you cannot touch animal flesh. I know in Australia, I lived there myself, you can eat roadkill. There are so many kangaroos and wallabies that are getting killed on those roads. Why don't you eat them? You cannot make yourself do that because in your world view, this is unethical. Meanwhile, there is nothing unethical about it. Typical vegan dogma. And this is all before we address the environment that you are now fucking up. Animals want to live somewhere. I want to live somewhere. Humans need to live somewhere. Your diet, your cruel, destructive diet is eating the rainforest. It's eating the habitat. So we have nowhere to fucking live eventually. Yeah, as I just said, more vegan propaganda. The vegan diet, if you truly would look into it, you would realize that there is much more deforestation happening because of your GMO crops. 
No, I'm not talking about the GMO crops that are fed to the animals in the animal industry. We are talking about the GMO crops that you eat with every product, with every meal. This is what is truly going on. If you really want to do some research, you would find out that the vegan diet is not the environmental friendliest diet. Quite the opposite. To fix our environment, we need livestock. We need cattle to roam free, like in ancient times. Cows to piss and shit all over the place, so the land gets fertile again. This is what we truly need. We need to set free the animals. And as true animal lovers, this is what we should be doing. Meanwhile, you will be promoting a diet filled with grains, beans and fruits. Totally unsustainable. Educate yourself. Educate yourself. You educate yourself, my lady. Anyway, that is my video. If you think it's mean and savage, I don't give a fuck, okay? What's mean and savage? is paying someone to slaughter our friend for a meal. Savage. Freely the savage. She doesn't give a fuck. It is so cruel to pay somebody to slaughter our friend. You do not have animal friends. Not any. You do not have any animal friends. You do not have to support anybody. Why don't you raise your own animals if you are a friend? I care about what is truly important and that's saving the lives of innocent animals. If you would care about what's truly important, you would care about saving the lives of people. You do not care about people which are animals. Not sending them to slaughter because you have some pimples and you have gut issues or you have whatever. I don't care what your problem is. I know that you do not care what our problems are freely. I understand that. You are against humanity. I fully get it. You do not care that people face gut issues on a diet that is not suitable for them. You just care about those animals that you do not see. You do not care about this animal here. You couldn't care less. There is always, always a vegan solution. No, there is not a vegan solution, because we are not herbivores. And you are just lying to yourself, making up excuses, trying to say there isn't. Who is lying to themselves freely? You're in denial. You believe you're a herbivore. As a herbivore, you would have a second gut to ferment all that plant fiber. You do not have that. You're a carnivore, an omnivore at best. Why don't you accept that? Hmm? You've been debunked many, many times. <laughs> You've been debunked many times. Where? Where are the studies? Where is the evidence? Don't give me a pity story when your pity story ends the lives of animals. If you think your situation is bad, think about being the one who is watching friends and families, family members be slaughtered in front of them and waiting for their turn. Animals do not have social contracts like us. They do not have those concepts of family and friends. Of course, they are social creatures, but they do not have the same conceptualization like us. If you think that something is wrong with your diet, rightfully so. Plants are not made for you. You're not a being that thrives on a 100% plant-based diet. Even if you would really look into the vegan science, you will find out that the talk is about a plant-based diet. 80% plants, yeah, and you should be okay. That is what the science really shows. There is no science for 100% plant-based diet. Nothing. Check it out. The flesh you have on your plate is the dead body of someone who wanted to live. Let that sink in. Let that sink in. Let it sink in. The flesh of someone that wanted to live. Let it sink in. Wow, mind-blowing facts there. All animals, us included, have a very, very strong survival mechanism. Yes, we all want to live freely. This is why we, people with an intact survival mechanism, make the shift. This is why we change the diet, because we want to live, we do not want to die, we do not want to be frail, we do not want to be sick. This is why we change our diet freely to a diet that is suitable for our anatomy, because we want to live. Wow, what a sin. Of course every animal wants to live. It is the survival of the fittest. The survival mechanism is embedded in every creature. 
Wow, Biology 101 with Really. And lastly, we need to counteract these why I am no longer vegan videos with videos from those of you who are actually vegan, who are vegan for life, why I am still vegan. You know, make videos with that title or counteract these videos because it is not okay. Don't make light of this situation. Animals' lives are involved. This is fucking serious. And I'd like to, you know, pass the mic to say, Rora Lyman and Supreme Banana, tell us why you are still vegan and why you're gonna be vegan for life. That would be fucking awesome. I'll see you soon. See you soon, Freely. Yes, vegan for life. I'm not gonna name anybody. I'm just gonna tell you that you will find out about many, many people in the near future that are not vegan anymore. You have no idea how many vegans are not actually vegan anymore. Me, as an ex-vegan YouTuber, I'm in contact with many ex-vegans that are still promoting a vegan diet. This is the narrative, freely. If you really would look into it and you would trust your fellow men more than you trust a dogmatic belief system, you would see that many people are suffering and they are afraid to come out with the truth that the vegan diet failed them. Many people are ashamed. Many people feel guilty. Many people are afraid to come out because of people like yourself. You are putting fear into people. You are putting shame into people. So those people think it is wrong to eat the animals even though they are dying. They are suffering every single day. Digestive issues, skin issues and whatnot. They are keeping it behind closed doors. They're still promoting a vegan diet even though they are suffering on a daily basis because of people like you. This is why I make this video. Because I actually care about humans. Wow! Let that sink in freely. It is an absolute disgrace. It's an absolute shame. You cannot be open-minded and accept that there are people that are suffering here. You are in such a dogmatic belief system. You think that you're so spiritual. You think that you are so forgiving, so benevolent. It is bullshit. You're living a lie. If you would be a truly good person, then you would reach out to people and you would ask what is going on there. Meanwhile, you're just making wild assumptions. You're just blaming those people. They failed because they're bad people. They didn't try hard enough. What should they do? Keep on suffering? Get sicker and sicker and sicker? And then in the end, they should go to the jungle like yourself? Live off bananas and decay? What is going on in your head? You've been brainwashed and this is why you keep on pushing this misinformation. You have no idea what you're talking about. You have no scientific background. You have no scientific understanding. You are in a religion. You're trapped and you're shaming fellow people that are suffering. All right, but to wrap it up, what we see here is a woman that has been indoctrinated into veganism, into feminism, belief system after belief system, dogma after dogma full with religious beliefs, full with blame, shaming other people, bad people, a lot of gestures, a lot of screaming and shouting. This is nothing new. This is the stereotype of the angry, malnourished vegan. We've seen it before. It is unfortunate. I really thought that the vegan community is a loving community when I got into it. But over time, they cannot sustain themselves. This is where the aggression comes from. Those people do not love animals. Those people do not love humans. Quite the opposite. They hate humans. And Freely was a beautiful display of the hate towards other humans. All right, guys. And this is it for today's video. If you liked it, leave me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, please do so. And as always, guys, much love and peace.